One of our viewers asked a question about our generator setup that I honestly didn't have an answer to because we just wired it in and tested to make sure that it would work. What they wanted to know was whether we had too much voltage drop between our generator and our charge verter, which is inside the powerhouse. Now our generator setup's a little interesting because we've got this 25 foot 6.3 cable going from the generator to the plug on the house. That allows us to move the generator further away from the house if we wanted to, but for the most part, it stayed right here. So we're gonna check the voltage drop at the generator, see what the generator's putting out while it's under load. Then we're gonna check here at the plug to see what the voltage is under load at the plug. And then we're gonna check the voltage at the charge verter to see what it is under load. When we wired in this plug here on the outside of the house, what we did was we extended the wires from the charge verter. The charge verter cable has 10 gauge wires in it. So we just extended those 10 gauge wires all the way out here to the plug. So one thing I didn't verify was whether that 10 gauge wire was big enough for this 30 foot run, moving the plug out here instead of inside the powerhouse. We're gonna check the voltage drop on that 10 gauge extension from the charge verter to make sure that the charge verter isn't pulling back on the amperage it's charging with because of the wire size. So I'm a real fan of fluke meters. I've had many of these throughout my career. Uh, this is, I think, my fourth or fifth fluke meter, uh, just because they keep coming out with better stuff. But today we're gonna try something different. So our friends over at Testman sent us over this really nice multimeter that I'm really excited to play with today. They also sent over a non-contact voltage detector and a really nice set of wire strippers that even have a non-contact voltage detector built into it so you're not finding yourself stripping live wires. So in auto mode, it searches between those four green items until it sees something. So now it automatically sensed resistance. And now we'll go directly from that to 120 volts AC. And then we can seamlessly go from AC to DC. And then from DC, we can go right to amperage. This is the non-contact AC voltage detector. Just turn it on and hold it close to a wire that you think might be live. Or you can stick it in the hot side of the outlet to tell if it's live and it will even measure through conduit. One of the features I like is that it has this temperature probe that it comes with and it measures both in Fahrenheit and Celsius. So let's use all these new tools to diagnose whether we have too much voltage drop between the generator and our charge verter. So now with the generator running, I can measure the voltage going into the plug. So in the end, we found that we didn't have a notable voltage drop in our system. So from the generator through its 25 foot cord and through the 30 feet of extension that we added onto the charge verter, we only saw about a one to two volt voltage drop under load. So that sounds pretty good to me. So 
because of that, we're not able to get the 100 amps that the charge inverter is rated for, but we got real close. I want to thank Tessman for sponsoring this video. This little multimeter is great. It packs a lot into a small package. If you want to check one of these out for yourself in the description below, we have a link and you can also try out this coupon code to save at checkout.